<laughs> Twins Winter Caravan joining us here at St. Paul's Lutheran School in New Ulm. New manager of the Minnesota Twins, Rocco Bernoulli. And thanks for coming on. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Your first caravan, Rocco. What do you think? All new. I mean, it's 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 pretty wild. It's very cool. Uh, the people uh, throughout have um, showed up and supported us, and I know I know we're kind of out there in a lot of different places right now, visiting a lot of different people. Um, it's great to go out into the community and see everyone and get to see everyone on their home turf. Okay, uh, new manager, first time. Excited? Uh, I'm very I'm really excited. Are, are you excited? Hugely. I'm actually looking forward to it, Rocco. You know, it's something different, something different for the Twins this year. You know, it's not traditional. It's something new. How do you think that's going to play with uh, with fans and and, uh, and twins fans and twins territory? You know what? That's it's actually a reasonable question. I mean, uh, I don't know. Like truthfully, all I all I know is that I can just go out there and, and personally be myself and um, try to do everything I can to help our, our team and our players and um, put our guys in a in a great situation to to you know be the best players that they can be. I mean, really, that's that's our job to get everyone in a good frame of mind to get everyone in a good situation feeling good about what they're doing so they can go out there and play well uh first line of business for you when you became manager what'd you do uh first line of business that's a good question trying to connect with uh all the players at least initially to to, to touch base uh and then build our coaching staff out that was that was essentially um to, you know those are two things that were really important to me and the building of the coaching staff is that's essential because all the messages that we have I mean they don't come from the manager most of them um, start with our staff as a whole and then they they kind of get spread through the group and through the the roster and all the guys uh, through the rest of the coaching staff so getting that group put together um, was very important I think we did a great job and we have a phenomenal group of guys uh, people are also wondering about all the numbers the analytics and all that stuff how big is that going to play this year well, I mean, I think it's funny because you could sit here and have a great discussion and talk about this kind of thing for a long time. Um, th the goal is is really just to, like I said, put our players in a great position to have success when they step on the field. And most of the time you're doing that with, with good information, but you're not necessarily um, you know, showing all of that information to everyone all the time. It's Sometimes it's used just in decision making and sometimes it's used for a lot of things, but ultimately we're dealing with people and what we really need is for our players to be comfortable when they get out there. And uh, if, if, you know, um, if we have to do things or we have to limit certain things or we have to put guys in a situation where they can just go out and relax and not worry about excessive information, that's what we'll do. Uh, your, your team, you're so far this year. You're liking, we'll start first the uh, defense, uh, uh, your position players. You're liking what you have coming into tr spring training. Um, well, I like our, our group as a whole. And, and truthfully, this, this off season, you know, you sometimes get questions about, uh, you know, incoming players and, and, excuse me, like free agents, people who aren't with the team. I like to focus on the guys who are with the team, like, like, like this question and getting to, you know, talk about our, our outfield defense being, you know, a phenomenal group that's going to go out there and hopefully – uh, carry us and and uh, you know if we're going to give up any fly balls and balls are going to go in the outfield which they are like we have a group that's going to go out there and run them down um, you know in the infield we have going around I mean we have uh, Sano who's feeling good and is healthy and is coming back and uh, Polanco who did a great job last year and we brought in two new guys in, in scope and uh, in crone um, to, to you know solidify us and, and add some power and um, I've been around both of those guys a pretty decent amount, and they're wonderful people as well. And, uh, you know, not talking about defense, but we also added Nelson Cruz, which is, um, you know, very cool in a lot of ways, not just because he's a tremendous offensive player, but because he's a wonderful human being and was going to probably set a great example for some of our guys to watch and learn. Okay. Pitching staff, you, so far, it's well, it's you know, hard to tell, but, you know, we, we, you like what you have back in the, in the bullpen and, on, and the starters? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, Jose is here with us right now. I mean, he's a guy that we're going to rely on, and he, uh, another guy that sets a wonderful example for everyone around him. He's a great person um, and is going to do a great job for us. And then we have, uh, you know, o Odorizzi and, and Gibby with uh, Pineda also coming back off of uh, – off of the injuries that he was dealing with, and he seems like he's in great shape too. So um, we have other guys that are going to be, uh, you know, out there pitching, trying to trying to win a spot. Um, we just signed Martin Perez, who is going to be out there uh, pitching for you know the opportunity to, to to log a lot of innings for us. And he's a guy that we're excited about as well. And and our bullpen, we have we have a ton of really good arms uh, in our bullpen. And truthfully, we could use those guys in a lot of different ways. 
is there a surprise guy out there once you get to training camp? Someone that uh, maybe you can think of that, hey, this guy could make the is, uh, make the team. Is there someone or maybe two or three that like that? Well, I mean, there there are probably a few guys that fall into that category. But I mean, kind of kind of switching gears on you, but like kind of answering your question. Uh, I, I haven't um, spent a ton of time or talking to or, you know, obviously around Astadio, but I end up talking about Astadio as much as uh, anybody else, which is very cool because he's a very unique guy, but also a really good player who can do a lot of different things. So um, it seems like he's a, he's a talking point a lot and uh, that, you know, it's kind of fun. You, you, obviously, you're looking forward to it. Uh, uh, once the training camp gets up and running, uh, is there anything that you want to see the Twins uh, accomplish this year? just come together as a group i mean that's really what we're asking for is is for our guys to just go out there and be themselves and compete and that's that, truthfully a lot of things boil down to just that when you have guys that that want to compete want to win play for the guy next to them um a lot of things end up working out well when that happens you got a prediction for us no i don't have a prediction i, I have a prediction that the twins are going to play hard every night wish you the best of luck thank you new manager of the minnesota twins rocco Bal baldelli twins winner Curry.